हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस एंटेंगल सेशन एंड दिस इज द लेट्स टेंगल टुगेदर सेशन एंड दिस इज सेशन सिक्सटी वन एंड आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन अ थ्री एंड हाफ इंच स्क्वायर टाइल यू कैन ड्रॉ दिस on any paper something like that uh, just a square of a three and a half inch and if you want you can draw the tiny squares of the two inch for the tangles but if you don't want to draw you can just draw directly on any paper or this kind of the zentangle tile hola mari hi judy from pennsylvania good morning good morning mara good morning brie hello florence from france Hi Sabrina, good morning. Rainy day in Massachusetts. Oh yeah, here also it keeps raining in Seattle. Hello Espanol. Okay, hi Mara from Chile. Good morning. Gretchen crossed from Las Vegas. Hi Nadia from Taiwan. Bonjour Annie. So, let's start working on our paper. we are going to follow our this eight basic steps in today's session in the zentangle method and we we'll start with our first uh, step that is the gratitude and appreciation i would like to say thank you to all of you who joined me today and thank you to all these supplies to the zentangle headquarter people who started this uh, beautiful method and give us all this insight about it if you want you can just close your eyes or take a moment uh, for maybe for a few seconds and think of something good uh, which you feel good about and you want to feel gratitude about and with a big happy heart we can start working on our tile so we'll start with our corner dots first is everybody ready before i start from the second corner dot let me show you today's uh, little these hashtags and uh, a little disclaimer so this is our let's tangle together 61 and these are few hashtags you can use wherever you are sharing your artwork and a little disclaimer about this today's video so let's do the corner dot and the little bit of the string and then i'll talk a little bit more about today's artwork and then we'll start our next step so please draw very very light because eventually uh, we are not going to use the eraser but feel free to use the eraser if you want at the end now instead of drawing the border we are just connecting these dots all the way diagonally so this is kind of our string draw ever so light very very light so that you get this kind of the centerish point and thus then in this string we are going to put these four dots very close to each other in each section so that it creates a, a you know a diamondish kind of the shape or the rhombus kind of the shape in the center if you uh, join them now feel free to join them with the pencil first if you want and then later on you can uh, join it with the pen it's your choice so the these are the four dots which we want uh, in our next step next step in the string and then we are going to start working with the tangle with the pen before we start working i would like to show you uh, this one celtic knot uh, different main eight variations we have worked on that in our knots and weaving pattern so this in today's artwork we have used one pattern which is inspired by the solomon's knot it's on the top right corner if you see this solomon's knot 
this is pretty much similar than this uh, feeling naughty tangle which is by the Cheryl Moat CZT so this is the tangle which I'm uh, taking as an inspiration today it is the Solomon's knot if you can if you want to see on the screen on the top right corner right now that's what is our first tangle where we are going to draw this square but in the diagonal way so we can keep our tile diagonally so that it becomes the square but if we keep our tile straight it will be the diamond so either you can call this Solomon's knot inspiration or this feeling knotty inspiration both will work I'm using micron 01 pen and the first step is to join these dots and draw this square and it's sideways so if you want you can keep it this diagonal your tile so it will be square for you if you are going to keep it straight it will be kind of the rhombus shape after that we are going to extend this little bit bigger from all four sides like this then we are going to draw the double line like this And after that, bonjour DMO, hello Finn Stevens from Midwest Western Australia, awesome, it must be night there. Thank you everyone for joining and drawing along with me. Whoever is drawing along with me can write down one in the chat and whoever is just enjoying watching the video can write down two in the chat. After doing this, if you want on the back, you can write down this feeling naughty by Cheryl Moot CGT or you can write Solomon's knot in the Celtic knot inspired by. both are pretty similar now in this left section here so instead of joining it round we are going to join it with this little petal style like that and same we are going to do the other side And then we are going to join repeat the same thing and we are going to do the same thing on this other side so it's always nice to move your tile so that you get the perfect angle and a little circle in the center little circle in the center so that's why it's not the actual feeling naughty or the Solomon's knot but I am just uh, taking inspiration from that now in this bottom side I would like to make this long petal like this and 
and this is kind of going all the way like this and we are going to work as a deva dance in this one but right now let's first join the top also then we'll start working on that part so it's good to just take out these little um, lines and make this big petal kind of here and I would just suggest to just leave this line as of now just this much and leave it empty we are going to work on the top on all we'll come back here and we'll start working on this top part let's first work in the center Just draw this aura line here. And a little tiny. Sections here. And in this center rectangle, we are going to work on a crescent moon tangle. So crescent moon tangle has various styles of the drawing. Here are the three versions which I'm showing you about the crescent moon. One of the very first tangles and it's the beautiful wonderful tangle has unlimited kind of the variation. So we are uh, this is the tangle by the Zen Tangle headquarters. I'm started working on the all four corners of this square. So first these are the pies and then these are the aura line. On the all four corners I would like to draw one, one more aura line. And after that we are going to draw this crescent moon in between So this is the crescent moon in the very center. We are going to work on this top area uh, uh, in a little bit. So please just leave this empty so that we have the space to draw along. Let's first complete the center part. And in these one we are just going to fill this whole petal. This tiny one. Same as here. If you want, you can use little thicker tip pen for just filling. It's a tiny area, so I'm not changing the pen. I'm not bothering about that. Now here, in the center line, 
we are just going to draw this tiny petal here feel free to draw with the pencil first if you feel like that's absolutely okay and these are the flux petals which I'm aligning and using to fill this whole petal so flux can be in various ways here this is just one version I'm just making the border a little bit increasing the weight in the border I'm doing the same thing on the other side Your leaves can be a little bit big or small. That's the fun in this art. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the tangling. And believe me, when you are done, it will look pretty. So this is our whole tangle in the center inspired by the feeling knotty or inspired by the uh, Solomon's knot. So if you see in our tangle marathon session uh, our 16th category let me show you our this these are the 17 categories total so the 16th one is the knots and the weaving category and we made our journal where we used these categories and we drew lots and lots of tangles based on these categories like this is the one where I drew uh, like all these knots and weaving category tangles so these are the all category all the tangles based on this category as well as we drew the Celtic knot also in this one like this one is the simply knotty and these are the other Celtic knots one also like in the Solomon's knot in the different variation so these are the all uh, lots of different uh, and this is just the one category uh, knots and the weaving 16th uses saw so in the other one we drew all those other different categories so if you haven't worked on the tangle marathon uh, sessions that's a separate uh, you know the playlist where we worked on all these different categories and worked on all the tangles in our journal so it becomes really very handy when you are working so this whole main uh, section in the center is inspired by that Solomon's knot Celtic knot I hope everyone is enjoying hi Megan it's okay take your time hi from Germany awesome awesome everyone now we are going to start working on this just in the center top part so that it looks complete because it's giving me a little incomplete look so in this top we are going to use mainly the sprinkle tangle here and we are going to first use our this one section here it's going and making this round And this is the inner line and these are the caps 
they can go and flow in any direction that is the best part same as this one maybe it's going here Let them flow in any direction, wherever your hands are taking you. We are going to add lots of these sprinkle, but after other tangle. So we'll just stop after these four sprinkle. And we'll come back again. You can go in either direction, wherever you feel like. Let it flow. So, right now I'm just leaving this top part like that. So now it's neither the feeling knotty tangle nor that Solomon's knot. So those two tangles I'm just using as an inspiration. And I made my own version of it. Just a little wading here. Okay, now we are going to work on this diagonal line in this bottom part and I really enjoyed working on this tangle. This is the loop lop tangle and this tangle has been deconstructed by, I don't know how to pronounce this name, uh, wonderful CZT. You can see the letters on the screen. So this is the CZT who deconstructed this tangle loop flop. So let's first write down the name. So we have used the sprinkle, sprinkle by the Zentangle headquarters. It's a Zentangle original tangle. And we used flux that is again the Zentangle original tangle. And now we are using loop flop by let me spell it out k s e n i j a t o j i s a v l j e r i c c g t so this is the tangle which we are going to use so i'm keeping my this sideways like on this line and i'm started drawing let me start drawing from here from the corner this parallel set of these lines let me start from here again So just you can just draw them by an eye leave the leave little space now I'm showing you sideways like this diagonal style so I just drew these set of the parallel lines try to keep the equidistance and then now in between we are going to draw the horizontal in another way like uh, earlier it was the vertical now it is horizontal That is the next step. 
good evening mom so nice to see you in my session thanks for coming my mom lives in india now we are going to draw this next layer of the vertical lines like this this is a beautiful weaving pattern and now again we are going to draw the horizontal line in between So here we can extend these lines if these lines are getting a little smaller that's absolutely okay. So that's how we keep on repeating the same thing vertical lines and horizontal lines and we can create this beautiful weaving pattern. And every time I'm turning my tile so that I get straight line. So you can put this tangle into the straight line tangle too. This is a beautiful example of the straight line tangle and a perfect example in the knots and the weaving category. So feel free to add in your whatever category you want to your tangle marathon journal. So which category do you are you going to put it in? the straight line or in the weaving category or you can put it into the high focus category also it's absolutely your choice where you want to put it again i'm repeating the same pattern like we used to draw baskets kind of like that not school time with these kind of the patterns If your horizontal lines are not touching with the vertical lines, you can just extend the vertical lines a little bit. Keep adding. We'll draw, I think, two more sections. Let's see. Thank you. 
if these lines are a little bit further away or close that's absolutely okay and let's draw one more uh, I want to come all the way to here this tip near to this tip so I think after this we can stop let's see Perfect. So now I'm I'm kind of reached to this tip and we are going to start working on the Diva Dance right now with the waltz version. So let me just show you the three different styles of this beautiful tangle. It's again a uh, Zentangle original tangle and it has these three versions like this one is the rock and roll this one is foxtrot and this one is waltz all the dance styles so we are going to use this waltz version now so first let's complete this version in these little trails where we are going to do these little bumps in our these wavy thin lines feel free to add them in little different placings We can add them a little bit more wavy lines if we want in between just to create a little bit more drama into the style. And now I'm just keeping it sideways and what we are going to do we are going to extend all our these lines. we can draw more lines to fill this whole area so right now I'm just drawing these more lines and then we are going to fill more we'll convert them into the diva dance again feel free to add a little bit more lines if you want if you see a little bit more space and you want to fill it more
this is a beautiful drama tangle And we are going to complete all these beautiful wavyish line in the bottom section. So this tile is kind of diagonally designed. You can, in fact, the best part of these tiles that you can keep them in any direction. So, but when I was designing, I was just keeping it this way, and I designed the whole pattern like that. Okay, so I'm kind of done so far for this diva dance, but if you want to add more lines and if you want to, to give more of these weightings, you can give that. You can draw that until you are feeling happy about it. Now we are going to work on this top part. So for this top part, thank you mom. Knots and weaving for me. Yes, Gwan. Good morning, Linda. So this whole tile is about knots and weaving. Like I am inspired by this Solomon's knot or this feeling knotty uh, tangle for this main base shape. And then this is again a beautiful weaving pattern. The loop lock and the straight line pattern too. And I am finishing them the top part with the sprinkle. And we can add maybe the fascicle. Let's see. So now we have our these a little straight lines coming up where we are going to add our more fascicles let them flow in any direction of any size and maybe I can add one or two fescue here So combine these two tangles, a sprinkle and fescue on all this top section and you can just join them with these connecting weaving lines so that it's kind of the transformation from one tangle to other or uh, join them so it gives the pleasant look. And don't forget to draw this inner line here.
So we are just going to decorate this whole top part with the fescues and a sprinkle. Feel free to draw whatever comes to your mind and whichever direction they are going here and there. Let them flow. And try to join them with the parallel lines coming from these weaving pattern on the bottom. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So this is the sprinkle pattern. One of my two go pattern. You can draw a little big, little small, whatever works best for you. So how do you find this whole tile, all the combination of different patterns? Let me know in the chat. Do you find it easy, little difficult or uh, so far? What do you think? Let me first join with these big ones with the sprinkle. Then I'm going to draw the pescues I'm leaving little space in the center in these fescues awesome try this and i'm going to make a post on my facebook page i generally i always make after my sessions so you can share your artwork there with me too so that i can see how it's coming along with you This is the tiny one. Let me start from this side, round, and then join this. Beautiful. You can add a little bit more tangles and fascicles wherever you feel like. You can fill more, maybe here. Mm 
the very center. So here I'm just making these lines little bold, these inner ones. I'm using the same pen. If you want, you can change the pen. You can use little thicker tip pen. It's absolutely okay. And make these lines little bit thick. Same on this side. Oops, don't go on the other side. And same I'm going to do on this line. I'm just making these lines a little bold. And now it's the time to make the lines bold, these outer ones. Feel free to use the little thicker tip pen or the same pen with few more strokes. So I'm just making all this little bit bold so that that whole shape become a little bit more visible. Okay, nice. So that's all for the drawing part and I don't see anything else to draw in this. That's all for the drawing and now it's the time for the shading. So we are done tangling. This is the step five and we have used so many tangles in that. We have used fescue, a sprinkle, diva dance, waltz, let me remove the other variations. We have used crescent moon, loop block, flux, 
and the inspiration from this feeling knotty or the solomon's knot that's all we have used and now we have reached to our sixth step of the zentangle method that is the shading you can use any pencil whatever you feel like whatever graphite pencil you have and first let's just shade wherever it's kind of joining and showing that it's coming over and under like this to create that dimension that is the first step just a little bit on the edges okay now in this whole uh, loop loop tangle we are going to give very light on the edges where it's going under in all the sections and you will see it will create lot of impact it will create so uh, weaving pattern like it's really going one over and one under The shading part completes the pattern. It's kind of the cherry on the cake decoration part. So whatever time you have spent in drawing the tangle, try to keep the same amount of time for your the shading pattern, shading uh, section. That is my suggestion. So what I'm going to do, I'm just first going to blend this half section and then we are going to see the half and half where it's kind of uh, no shading and shading and we'll see the difference. So at some places I forgot to use lay down the graphite pencil but my tortillon is carrying a lot of graphite now so I can just use it without the pencil laying down You can see the difference in this half of this weaving pattern and this half without the uh, shading and with the shading, right? Oh, Nidhi, I may use this style for my craft relay challenge 165. <laughs> okay, Gwen. Yeah, I actually use my own style of drawing the same uh, tangle. First, whenever I uh, like any uh, tangle, I follow the exactly the same step which has been given by that particular CZT or by the Zentangle headquarter. And then uh, when in later on time, when I keep using those tangles, I started using my own style. Maybe I change little order or I add some more steps. So... Mm, that's the good part of all these tangles that you can make your own version and get inspiration of whatever you feel like. 
you can add your own element to that your own steps to that whatever works best for you whatever makes it easier for you after this we'll start shading in the diva dance as well as in the sprinkle let's first complete the shading in this loop lock this weaving So if you guys have not clicked on the thumbs up button in the video, please do so. And if you have not subscribed the channel, that's way too much. Please subscribe. And for all my Patreons and for all my YouTube members, this month I uploaded a video uh, which is, um, what is that? That's the Root Chakra Mandala video. And once you become the Patreon or the member, it's not only that you unlock this month's video. Rather, you can unlock all the past member-only videos at once. Like, let me show you one of this double-layered Zentangle-inspired art. This is on a 6-inch square tile. And this is a beautiful Zentangle-inspired art on the two layers. You can make this... Uh, you can unlock this video also if you join me as a Patreon or if you join me as a YouTube member. And here I want to show you this mandala which I uploaded uh, this month for all my Patreon. This is the root chakra mandala. So there are basically seven main chakras in our body and they all have their different characteristics. Like if you see these seven chakras, they have the different colors, different number of petals, different pattern. And they all are associated with different uh, characteristics. So you can see that. And there are many other more mandalas you can unlock. Like this is the yin yang mandala. This is the 3D flower of life mandala. You can unlock this. So once you join me as a Patreon, you can unlock all these and many, many more mandalas uh, and different artworks. It's not only mandalas. There are a few of the dot paintings, acrylic paintings and like I just showed you the Zentangle inspired art and some more of like that. So you can see that. And here is I want to show you, share you this Christmas wreath. It's on the 14 inch square paper and it is available for everyone. So if you have not worked on this art, this is on the 14 inch square paper and it's available for everyone. You can find the video of this one too at my YouTube channel. Perfect. Now let's start blending these little tiny shadings in the weaving pattern. Use the thinnest uh, tortillon or the blending stem because the area is pretty tiny in this one. If you use little wider tip or if you want to use the Q-tip, that might not be a very uh, good idea, especially in this section. Somewhere when we are, you know, blending in a little wider area, we can use that. Setting to home. Mm -hmm. This is my Simply Safe. It keeps on saying something on every top of the hour. Sorry for that, guys. After this, I'm just laying down graphite along with this whole feeling naughty or the Solomon's knot variation version just in the bottom part, not on the top part, okay?
just work in the bottom part and now in this our shading what I'm doing I'm just using my this and some of the random sections I'm just filling with this So you can do these random fillings in any section. Just to create that. Hi Gwen, thank you. Thank you for your support. Hi Hardeep. Yes Sabrina, like you just see Gwen supported me just now. And you can send me PayPal directly. You can Venmo me directly. Uh, to Nidhi at Nidhi Prakash Arts if you want so uh, that's absolutely okay of whatever amount you want you can Venmo me you can PayPal me to Nidhi at Nidhi Prakash Arts or you can support me the way just Gwen supported me uh, on the screen you can see You can sell me also on the Nidhi at Nidhi Prakash Arts. Thank you for your this lovely feeling. This support goes long way with me. So now generally I always take sessions every alternate week but now this time uh, the next to next week is my daughter's graduation so I'm going there uh, to her college to North Carolina and so there will be no session in the sixth but next to next to next I'm going to take again the live sessions on Saturday and Sunday and you can see the date on my you know on my channel YouTube channel also about the date and I will make the um, I'll make the event also on my Facebook page too so you can check the dates there too till then you can follow up on all the past live sessions if anything is left for you I'm just looking if I leave anything you can Venmo me uh, you know uh, Nidhi at Nidhi Prakash Arts dot com this is my gmail address it is associated with my Venmo account so you can Venmo me there and yeah that's the thing if you want you can see on the and sometimes on the screen also it comes on the very top like how mm, you can support me i think it's available on the screen let's see if it comes okay so that's all I see that I have missed at some places these little lines and I already give the shading so now I am just giving these lines I already filled the shading in those parts before okay yes 
that's it now we have reached to our next section that is initial and sign so i'm pretty sure you mo you all must be aware about your chop now for your initials so i'm just using my pen and i'm looking for the place now i'm going to write down in between here very tiny i'm just going to write down and be here Find your place and just write down and on the back I'm going to write down my full sign and this is let's tangle together 61 you can write down today's date today is April 23 2023 yay Cool, nice date, 23, 2023. So that's it. I just saw on the screen that I'm supposed to make this one a little bit. You know, you can keep fixing, you can keep working on these kind of artworks. That's it. So there is no 12 Gwen let me write down on the in this one uh, just give me one second okay just give me one second and i'll write down uh, what's her degree she did uh, her graduation in uh, bio honors linda and she completed her four years now so I'm sending you the information on the chat about the uh, about how you can support me if you want to support me through the uh, Patreon or through the uh, I'm sorry through the Venmo or the Zelle. So just give me one second. So here I gave you, you can support via PayPal, Venmo or Zelle for all three options. My account is nidhi at nidhiprakasharts.com. I hope that helps. I don't know why this at Nidhi Prakash because of the at the rate it become like that. So yeah, that's it. Okay guys, now we have reached to our eighth step. Appreciate again. I would suggest you to hold your artwork in your hand and hold it a little further away and just appreciate it how we spend this word beautiful wonderful creative time together and i want to say thank you again to all of you who joined me and it's really great for all of you being here and now we'll see after two weeks you don't see the screen anymore what do you mean uh, is it can you guys others can see my screen now my stream is still going for me and I can see all of your chat never mind okay perfect thank you thank you okay guys bye bye now we'll see each other in two weeks have a good week enjoy stay creative and take care of yourself. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you, Sabrina.